This year saw the release of the movie Red Tails, the story of the Tuskegee Airman and starring an almost all black cast, all playing great American heroes. But it has been a long struggle for black actors to get the variety of roles that reflect the diversity of the black experience. Four men who have succeeded are here today to talk about images of black men on TV and in films. We have Brian White, Richard Roundtree, Dondre Whitfield, and Phil Morris. The ladies who work on this show have been very excited about this panel. <laughs> Gentlemen, certainly glad that you are here. Uh, we talk I don't about know why it. you have all these young kids up in here. <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> well, actually, they were all afraid of you because they were they like, well, we know how the sister's going to respond to Chad. <laughs> we're, we're, let you know. Yeah, put we're, him in the middle. We're, we're, we're here partially due to him. Yeah, Mr. Cool. Yeah, Mr. Exactly. Cool right here. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's interesting when, you know, I'm very critical when I look at these commercials and, I, and men look like just absolute fools, can't raise children, can't, can't do anything. And then when you look at some of these shows, folks are just out of control as african-american men when you're sitting here getting these scripts coming across your desk are you very clear that look i'm gonna represent brothers there are men who are watching me they are you know uncles and 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 cousins and brothers but also guys i don't know they need to see themselves on the screen not just acting a fool you know yes. i i'm glad that you said that and i because we were talking a lot, a lot about this uh earlier and as a, a father of two, I have a daughter who's seven years old, and one of the things that she takes tremendous pride in is the fact that I can actually braid her hair. And as a father, yeah, that's a skill set, there, bro. I, I mean, it's just that <laughs> you know, it's that is a, a. I see what it's done for our relationship, and to have that in my personal life, and to reflect that in some of the things that I do in my work so that others can see, mm -hmm. you know, hey man, not only are you capable of that, it doesn't make you less of a man for doing it. In fact, it makes you more of a man for doing it because it galvanizes that kind of energy and that kind of emotional connection with your family. You know, I was really fortunate to come out of a household where my father not only was bringing that image to the screen, but brought it home for me to see up close and mm -hmm. personal. Mm -hmm. So I got kind of a twofer. And it is my duty to um, continue to push that integrity rock and, forward. And of course, folks out there, your father, uh, Greg, Greg Morris, Morris from the original Mission Impossible. Impossible series, not the movie. There you go. Mm -hmm. I got to ask you this, Richard, because what I've always appreciated, you talked about uh, publicly, people say, Shaft, Shaft, and you're like, look, I did, I've done more than that. But what I most appreciate, whether it was that role, whether when you were on Rock, uh, you were clear. I see. I, I, I watch stuff now. <laughs> you made it clear. I'm an unapologetic black man. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to represent black male strength when I walk into the room. I had a reality check early on. Um, <clears throat> Shaft in Africa, and my oldest daughter was going to Hollywood High, and she came on and had this long look on her face. I said, "What's wrong?" I said, "Dad, were you naked in the movie?" Oh, uh, yeah. See, everyone in the school said they, show, they saw you naked. Hmm. And up to that point, I wasn't really on top of what I was doing on film mm -hmm. to that, the way I should have been. But that was a reality check. I said, this is, this is forever. Forever. Mm -hmm. When you put it up there on screen, this is forever. And that moment, I became very aware of what I put on the screen and how important it is and how that actually moves people. I mean, mm -hmm. I, our figures, I mean, our dynamic box office stars, it, it, opening up a can of worms, but this is where we're going. I mean, the, the, the Caucasian stars are not being asked to, to you know, it, they're not held to that standard. No. They're not asked to, to wear dresses and, and play drag queens and over the top, you know, characters like that the way the way ours are. It was really uh, eye-opening for me when I saw mm -hmm. Dave Chappelle do an interview on Oprah where he talked about doing this film with Martin and he walked into his trailer and there was a dress in there. And he said, I must be in the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. Well then, the writer, the director, producers, they all go in and they're like, man, this is gonna be hilarious. Is this gonna love? And he's like, no man, I'm funnier than a dress. Mm. Just give me something funny to right. do. I don't need a dress to be funny. Right, exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, you talk about duty and the responsibility. I mean, all of our families um, carved out their, 
their stake. And they, they created the American dream and then created a path for us. I grew up on the Cosby Show. I grew up seeing Felicia Rashad and Bill Cosby, doctors and lawyers. And the images that we have today that are celebrated and glorified in the media for our people, for African Americans, don't measure up to that standard. So we've gone backwards. Yep. My grandmother is a college graduate and had two brothers that passed. She claimed her blackness, was proud of it, fought for her education, and passed that down to my mom, who passed it down to me, to aspire to be educated and successful, et cetera. And not paying homage to what they went through is, is ridiculous. You know, it's, it's interesting because That's we got it at home, but a lot of our people do not get it at home. So yeah. it is incumbent upon us mm -hmm. when we put these images out to multi-million viewers to help them assist them understand that's what's possible. Amen. Just because you didn't have it doesn't mean right. it doesn't exist. That's right. No, that's a very broad brush I think you're painting there because when I, when I look at guys like uh, Fishburne and, 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 and Mr. Gossett back there, I mean, right. uh, they, 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 there is a, a number of us who are doing the right Role right. yes. models. Absolutely. Yes, sir. It's Absolutely. Absolutely. So We're not necessarily being celebrated for doing the, well, the, the right thing. It is thing interesting. I was uh, debating some, some folks uh, on Twitter and Facebook, and we were talking about films, and they were talking about they were highly critical Tyler Perry, things along those lines. And I said, you know what's interesting? I said, of all the Tyler Perry films, my favorite, Daddy's Little Girls. Hmm. Here was a movie with Idris Elba playing uh -huh. a strong brother. He said, look, I've had some stuff in my past. But I'm taking care of my kids. Mm -hmm. For me, it is important when I see brothers truly representing on the screen Amen. and making it clear, as Dave Chappelle said, I'm, I'm not going to be a buffoon. I like comedy. I like those things. But I do think it's important when, when we see us walking tall, demanding respect, mm -hmm. and not simply <clears throat> bowing down to somebody else's stereotype of who we are. And, and that's what I'm talking about, celebrating being ahead of the curve, making sure that everybody is aware of the great roles, the great performances, the upstanding portrayals, and, and you know, we're a little bit behind the curve. Mm -hmm. You know, we celebrate when the Golden Globes came knocking. That's not our organization. The NAACP Awards is after the Golden Globes. So we need to be front running saying, look at this. This is the examples we need to be aspiring to. You know, the examples are there. They're bountiful. They're just that, not glorified. That's another issue also because sometimes the, the organizations or entities that, cl that claim to be the ones that are uh, uh, our flagships and supposed to be the ones blowing, you know, our, our horn in terms of celebrating who and what we are are so worried about servicing so many things that they lose sight and lose track of what the cause was supposed to be, which mm -hmm. was actually celebrating us. And they begin celebrating others more than they celebrate us. Well, I'll tell you what, the one thing that I, I will always appreciate and why I wanted to have this panel uh, is because, again, to have black men speaking about why we must represent on AI. And I make, I make it a point. I love to have fun on the AI. I love to uh, talk about wearing ascots and all those things along those lines. But I do know for a fact when young kids walk up to me, 11, 12, who literally say, I watch you, I yes. listen to you, and I want to hear what you have to say, we are presenting an image out there. And I want them to say that I'm watching you versus some fool over here who's cussing someone out on some reality mm -hmm. show because we've got to actually have that. So well, I say, we you, need you represent balance. And we, we got to have balance. You, you can be intelligent, well, you, represent you can be funny, side. you can be all those things. And he you know, represents they, truth. There's not a lot of places where I can turn on the dial and see somebody looks just like me telling the truth. Right, without an agenda. Yes. You know, we can't always have an agenda because right. then it's, it, it reeks of, of uh, uh, misinformation and false gotcha. hopes. As you know, being a politician, history is written by those in power. Yep. So the mm -hmm. images that are being put forth are being put forth by those in power. That, the, mo the more of us we have That's power. why I like I have the power of my microphone. There you go. Brian, <laughs> Richard, Andre, <laughs> Phil, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Keep it up, gents.